certain functions, they're the leaders. Yes, I do believe men are called to be the leaders of society and the home. I do believe that. Okay, the leaders of the society and home, right? Also, the case, we'll give men that. So if we're so superior, why can't we just resist the temptations? Why do you have to tell someone to dress a certain way? Just, you're superior, right? Resist your temptations. It's simple. So, yeah, no, good point, good point. That's, that's, and it's a good answer. It's, it's, it's a simple answer. The, re the, re the answer is that having a, a role of leadership and a headship doesn't make that that person perfect, okay? Everybody has a weakness, everybody does. Superman has his weakness, his kryptonite, but he's stronger than every human being. So men have their weaknesses too. That's why they say a way to a man's heart is through food. You, you, cook, a, you cook a good meal for a man and you, and you show body parts, man, you'll, you'll have a guy drooling over you in a second. So that is a weakness within men. But, women also have weaknesses too, but the reason why men have a, a role of leadership and headship is because God made them to be in that position. And that makes them, um, they're equal to women, but different. But you're saying, generally speaking, that men have been and always will be more dominant? So if you're more dominant, and I don't know how you're defining dominant in what sense. Sure. Only physically dominant, first yeah. of all. Physically, yes. Yeah, but you're yeah. saying other ways dominant as well. Then sure. why can't you resist the temptation, right? Sure. You said you're intellectually better, sure. physically better. You can protect the family, do all of that. Why can't you resist temptations? You can't be physically... You can't be... Can't we're have dominant. It both yeah, you can't have it both can't ways. Have it both ways. Yeah, you can't have it both ways. Sure. You can't be, oh, we're the most dominant, but uh, we have our weakness in, the, in this sure. one area. Sure. It's either yes or no. It's absolute, right? Yeah. Absolute. One hundred percent. Give the girl a I'm glad you're thinking. Who here thinks that men have uh, some kind of dominance over women? I say some kind. Okay, a lot of men. How many of you think women are overall? The dominant over men. One man. Overall. I think you have to. Yeah. Are you saying overall? Why? You, why? You, what is that, man? Why are you showing me your, your perverted I'm stuff? I'm sorry. Yeah, so okay. So 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 here's. But it's not about the consensus anyway. The point is, is that we were just made different. The Bible actually says men and women are created equal. We're both made in the image of God. But we just have a different role. And the role that men have is to be the leaders of society. Now, a leader, let's just say a leader of a company, a manager of a company, and the employees. They're equal, they just have different positions. Who's more dominant? Who has the who has the power to fire someone? It's the manager. Who has the one to tell the other person what to do? It's That's the manager. That's not equality though, you know that, right? It, well, it's, it's, it's not equality in role, but it's equality in the fact that they're both human beings then it's a, and they it's both need each other. Okay, context. so the context of a male and a female is that a man is dominant or superior or stronger in those roles. They have a leadership role where a woman doesn't. Okay, the man is the one that that leads and, and tells the woman to follow. And a woman's called to submit and support the man. Meanwhile, a man is called to lead. But but here's 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 the here's the equal plane. I'm going to tell you something that might help you. God calls all men to submit as well to Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ gave his life for all people. You said God, that's it. That's, and that's Jesus dope. Christ is the leader of all leaders. He's the Lord of all lords. And because Jesus Christ is God come in the flesh, Lord of all lords, King of all kings, and we're called to submit to him, that levels the playing field. So men ought not to abuse women and in their role. And if they do, they're disrespecting their head. Christ talking, never man. commanded gotta, everybody, anybody well, let to me disrespect a woman. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> this is you a problem with societies talk. like this. It's because you get to choose what fits best for your agenda. It's not what's right or wrong. It's what fits your agenda. So you're saying, oh yeah, we're more dominant, but like, you get to, you're choosing, you're defining what you think is more dominant. Sure, I am defining, because there's definitions. Uh, yeah, I, I'm 100% for my objective, for my purpose. You know why? Because God's, God's definition is the definition, not yours, not anybody else's. So God says he's made men to be the heads and the leaders, <laughs> and women are supposed to support oh, shit, the men man. in the vision that Everybody's God gave Everybody's equal, them. period. And that's it. We're equal, but we're different. And I already proved that we're, we're different. We're, pro we're different physiologically, we're different hormonally, and we're different in purpose. You have a womb, and I don't. 
We have a different purpose, different role. And the fact that you have to bear hold a child in the womb for nine months means that you're in a vulnerable position for nine months. And when you have a child and you're looking at and you're breastfeeding that child, then you need to be protected. And because of that uh, inability, or rather the ability that you have, but the inability to function like a man in those times, that makes you naturally the weaker vessel and you need to be in a protected situation. Okay, so physically we're weaker than sure. So since you're all about protecting women, why can't you just protect women by resisting temptations instead of being like, oh, you need to control yourself right. or I might get you. Why can't you resist yeah. temptations to protect us? You want to protect women, right? right? Right, so the way I protect women is that I know that nature is gonna objectify women in a certain way naturally because of the inclinations so i say look cover up don't go out like that number one two when i do talk to the men i tell the men listen you gotta you gotta you gotta turn your eyes somewhere else and focus on the lord and be a man of prayer and faith because i know you have this natural thing from the, whether it's from the testosterone or whatever it is on the inside of you that makes you sexually attracted to a woman makes you want to jump on a woman which is good in the context of a marriage whatever that is needs to be tamed in order for you to tame that, it's probably better to stay away from women. Don't don't be so close to women that you're attracted to like that. And for the woman, don't make it hard on the men. Cover up because you have certain body parts that is gonna cause a man to be triggered. It's, 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 it's obvious. You know what happens when, when they go in the bedroom? Women women put on nice lingerie to turn on the men. It's, it's a, no, it's not just society. It's just that those body parts are sexually attractive to men. It's just the way it is. Look at this demon, bro. It's 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 like, why why what's Full wrong? Full of Satan. With, why are you showing perverted things on your phone? Oh, I thought you didn't notice. I I did notice, and it's perverted. You just pretend you didn't. No, I don't want to look at your net, your your naked body. You are talking. I am displaying. But why are you displaying a naked person in front of a preacher? Why you are talking here? Okay, keep doing what you're doing. Just be perverted. Pay no attention to this. So that's that's what I'm saying. So both need to be addressed. She needs deliverance, bro. But the only difference is is understanding why we're here. Now here's what I want to just draw this whole conversation into. Everyone needs to know why they exist. You have a question before I continue? Go ahead. You saw your video? Does that help? So even though it's I doing good. everything you said, doing good, six hundred already. Okay, yeah. What is? You don't care. Sounds <laughs> like hold on for one second, brother. Can you go get my coat that I came with? Somebody just grab my coat. It's behind the booth, just so I can uh, remove my guns from 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 society. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Hold on, no, it's all good. Somebody, hey, uh, go 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 behind the booth. Yeah, grab my grab my coat here. Hold that for a second. Hold it. There you go. Oh, Hallelujah. Right? There we go. Maybe God so loved the sound. world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but has everlasting life. That's the bottom uh, line of what we're here for, to get you to know Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the truth. He's 100% real. Believe in him and you can be saved. It's, a, it's, in, it's in the blood of Jesus, what Jesus did for us on the cross. It is real. I've experienced it in my life. And you can experience it too. I used to be I used to be a hardcore atheist. I used to call myself a, a pastafarian. I used to not believe in God at all, at all, at all. But I accepted Jesus Christ and he saved me and he he re, he continues to reveal himself to me more and more and more. He's alive and he's real. Accept Jesus Christ and you can be saved. Amen.